welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video where I'm going to try some makeup that I haven't used in months. Like, I haven't touched them in months. Um, there is a mascara that is new and I just wanted to try it out because I literally dumped all my mascaras, like my old ones. Because you know we don't need no eye infection around here, okay? My background isn't as smooth as I would like it to be, but I still need to get my handheld steamer, so for today, that's just gonna do. Before we jump into the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out, and today's one goes to Mimbly, so thank you so much for liking before watching. I love it when you guys do that. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm gonna use, I need some moisturizer, so I'm gonna use my Neutrogena SPF moisturizer, which looks like this. If you hear like weird like noises, it's my chair. See that? My skin definitely needed that. For my brows, I'm going to use this Wonder Brow Brow Gel thing in the shade Black Brown. I have no, not used this in a very long time. So I'm just taking a small angled brush. Fill these brows in. That's not bad, you know. And this literally does not come off your brows. I've got my spoolie here. Just run through that, make sure it's all even. So I know I've been like doing less makeup videos and I don't I don't really like that. So I'm trying to do like more makeup videos because I know you guys love that and like more reviews. So I bought a couple of like new stuff that I found online. So I'm just waiting for them to come in. I'm gonna do them as soon as possible. Hopefully this week I'm going to have a bunch of videos up because today I'm going to film at least three. This product is nice but it's a bit hard to work with sometimes. I do have the black shade but I kind of like going a bit light on my brows but not like too red. This is like a nice brown because you can really see like every brow hair. If I go in with a black I just think my, br my brows are just too harsh. I mean, it's not the best easy product to use out of there because I've got that gap. I'm going to fill that in with a brow pencil. I'm just going to go in with some of my brow. Oh! My brow artist plumper by L'Oreal. I have not used this in so long. I use this in every single one of my videos. It, it's not as good as a benefit one. But it's good, it's good, it's good. Not bad for a drugstore one. Can you see that gap in my brow? Right there. That is not working for me. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Finish, no, Photo Focus Concealer Medium Deep Tan. This is a really good concealer. I just don't know. I just have so many stuff, like so much makeup that it's just hard to use every single one. My lips are tripping with this weather, okay? It's not, it's not happening. They're dry every day, 24-7. Okay, I think I'm happy with my brows like that. Right, so brows are done. We are gonna move on to eyes, I think now. Uh, the thing I haven't used in a while is this Pro Primer by LA Girl. I used to use this all the time to do my eyeshadow looks. It is a really good product. This is the nude one. The eyeshadow palette, which I actually, to be honest, forgot I even had, no shade, is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I got the Armed and Gorgeous one. I actually did do a try, try video, like a testing video on this. It's not bad, like I really do like it and the colours are really pigmented. But I don't know, like I haven't been using it that much. Why do I feel like there's soap in my mouth? What I'm going to grab first is Secure. They are quite pigmented. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Smooth Criminal. I'm gonna pack this. On the side there. 
This is kind of like a flat, fluffy brush. That blended quite nicely, to be honest. The thing with this palette is that I love the mattes, but then the shimmers are just awful. Like, is it dry? It's not even going on. What is going on? Let's try and wet this with a brush, shall we? I mean, that helped it a little bit, but not as much as I wanted it to. So this is what it's looking like so far. I love the mattes, but I don't... I really like the mattes. Like, the, that blend is beautiful. Like, I'm happy with that, but... This shimmer... I'm gonna go from this Ico I Do Liquid Dye Liner. I haven't used this in ages because I don't, I'm not a fan of pen eyeliners, but this one's actually quite good. We're gonna try some Beauty Pie Mascara. I have not tried this, I've been wanting to. I don't have my eyelash color though, so we're just gonna try it without. No. Do you know what? I think my favorite, favorite mascaras are definitely by far Maybelline Lash Sensational and uh, Revolution Mascara, like the new one. The Revolution Mascara is so good, like it attaches to your lashes, really packs on like mascara on. I'm just gonna pop some of my lashes off camera. These are the Eyelor ones. So I've put my lashes on. I'm now gonna use some of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade eight. Show not that actually works. So I just used the NYX 03 foundation brush. It's actually one of my favorite, favorite brushes out there. But I'm quite surprised at this foundation. It looks pretty nice and it's a good match as well. I think I need to start using this. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it kind of separates in some places. I'm now gonna move on to the EX1 Delete Fluid Concealer in the shade eight for my under eyes. This is a really, really nice concealer. I think I might have to pop some of the um because i use a darker i usually use a darker one with that shade i'm just gonna put some of where's my concealer i'm gonna put a bit more of the wet and wild one just on top of that just to kind of like darken it a little bit because i don't want it to be like looking ashy or anything like that you know i'm just using this brush i'm using the huda beauty Uh, this is the Conceal and Blend brush. What's wrong with Sky? What's wrong with Sky? I know you want some attention and some loving. So, the next product that I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is the shade Caramel Toffee. I'm just going to use both of them, I guess. I'm just going to pop some of the lighter color underneath my eyes the setting powder is actually not a bad powder for bronzer i'm gonna use my bobby brown bronzer in deep i haven't reached for this in so 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 long so i think i'm gonna give it a go today I know, Sky. I know. 
For my lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Top Secret. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. So the next product that I haven't used in ages is this Ciate Dewy Stick and I used to swear by this stuff. It's literally like a clear dewy glowy highlighter that makes your skin look so pretty. I'm going to take my foundation brush just pop that on the highest point. Look how pretty that is. Just make your skin look so Pretty. I'm gonna have to use this a bit more. It's so nice. So I'm gonna put that in my makeup bag now. I'm gonna use some of the Toffee lip liner by Primark. Again, I haven't used this in so long. Um, I'm gonna use my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in Knock on Wood. Again, I haven't reached for this in so long. is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video i'm not mad at this look to be honest look at that guy though Oof. i think i'm not gonna be using the wet and wild powder anymore because my concealer is already creasing a bit and it's a bit too light for me but love the glow stuff when you start using it again lip stuff obviously i love the eyeshadow palette's not bad i do like the matte though but the shimmer no no Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, it really means a lot. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you're always notified when I post. And yeah, love you guys, see you next time. Bye!